How's it going? Detailing gods. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever uh, time and date you're, you're listening to this. At my time, it is 6.37 on a Sunday morning. And I like to refer to you guys as detailing gods because they say it's a, a certain amount of hours that you get. I think they said like uh, 10,000 hours before you can master anything. And once you master that thing, then the next level of it is like the God level of it. Being a detailing God, if that's what you're in, to detailing. Right. But the skill itself, you got to be able to pass on that skill. You got to be able to make money off the skill, not just by working your behind. You got to be you have to also be able to work your mind. You have to be able to use the art of upselling your customers and selling on pushing your business, period. All right. And. One way of the warrior that Sun Tzu, before he even battles you, <laughs> Sun Tzu the art of war. Right? So, before he even battles you, he already knows what you're going to do because he's going to make the the movements to make you respond. Because you're waiting for me to to act, and then once I act, then you respond. OK, and so if I set up a couple of acts and this is the way that this person responds or this particular military group responds and the way Sun Tzu does it, he says, always leave a way of escape for your enemy. All right. So if we beat my man here, here and here, we're going to make sure that he can leave out this way. Right. So so even if he winning. He can still escape because we're going to put it on him. We're going to put it on. That's why my man have not lost a hundred battles, bro. The dude have not ever lost. I don't think so. I don't think so. And so one way of a warrior, right? A warrior has to be ground, grounded. Have to be very very grounded because I can go from zero to 100 real quick right and I'm learning more to ground myself and, and take that energy because some people will respond to me I would just blurt out like boom I'm learning to harness that energy and save that joint for later because energy can be a good word for it is transformed into anything. That's why like in these. Okay, here's a good example. Matter of fact, it's a God. The God of Thunder, Raiden. The God of Thunder, Raiden from Mortal Kombat. 1992, I think. My man can uh, control the elements. My man can do teleportation. My man know jujitsu and some disjoint code call uh Nikon, Nikon, I think, a style of martial arts. Like he mastered both of them joints. He know how to control lightning. My man can fly. Right? But you know what happened to him? And then he was not like it's obvious my man is so dope at what he does in martial arts and fighting that now my man is it's like he was given the ability to control Lightning, like somebody gave it to him, but actually he had the ability the whole time. Someone just released it in his mind to let him know that, bruh, you can do this. Right? Step your game up. And the dude is so nice at what he does. But what happened to him on his way up, on his way up, he was nice at it and then he lost a battle. And he took that L. It was like the homie ain't never lost. Like me and my son was watching Goldberg, uh, the wrestler Goldberg yesterday, and my man was like 150 and 0, 170 and 0. Nobody could beat this guy. And I don't even remember when he ever got beat. But 
Raiden got beat, and he took that L so hard. That he just practiced every day, every day. I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna get better. And then that Joker came back, and that Joker can control lightning. Woof. He's a god. Anytime you come back from the dead, anytime you come back from something that tried to bury you, you become a god. So that's why I refer to you guys as detailing gods. So <clears throat> one thing, one thing that helped me out coming up, especially when I'm doing detailing, one thing that helped me out was even if, if, if I saw it at the cell, if I'm coming to your house, let's say your house is 30 miles away from me. Right. I'm only going there to get 30 bucks. Right. All right. And I got to set up for tomorrow. I'm going there to get 30 bucks. Now, I'm already done spent 20 bucks and just and just gas getting there and back and just gas. Then chemicals. Let's just go ahead and just call it like 10 bucks. Right. So I'm pretty much working for free right now. You would think so. But I ain't look, look I'm, I'm going to blow up number one. When I get there, this is the plan. The plan is to get the most, the maximum amount of this detail. I ain't trying to go around and watch 600 cars a day. Two, three cars a day, I'm good. Right? But you got to hit the mugs hard. Right? So you, you get out there to that, to that first appointment, that $30 car wash or whatever it is. Right? And then I knew that from that point, I'm going to upsell them. Right? And I got so good at this, bro. I will go out there on a $25 full detail, bro. Let me tell you what happened. I had, I had, I had, I was out there, bro. I was out there selling full details for, for $25. And I'm saying wash, wax, shampoo, carpet for $25. And what happened is I got mixed up with this living social stuff, right? That my team, like that joint worked the $25 full detail. It worked. But you got to have other people doing it because you jump on it. People jumped on it so much. It wasn't really 25. It was actually 50. That's what it was. But living social take 50% uh, of that. Right. And I had fell into a hole, bro. I want no more money coming in. And then people, I had 100. I had 100 and something calls I had to watch, bro. I had, to, I, had, I had a hundred and something cars I had to wash. And they had, they said all the money gone. So I could have quit. And I could have gave up. And said, yo, this is the end of me. I'm through. This is it. <laughs> Down for the count. Right? But something in me wouldn't just let me like die. Like I'm doing this, I'm doing this for more than just me. Right. Looking back at it, like I looked at it back then, I was like, I'm about to get this money. This is a great opportunity for me to work on my sales. That's the way I looked at it. I didn't look at it like, oh, because now I get the chance to get in front of the customer. Right. So in order in order for me to get this money, right, number one, I knew that. Uh, in my company, I charge gratuity, so I know I get I'm getting gratuity right off the top. So this is a hundred dollar detail, and you're getting fifty percent off. I means I get another additional twenty dollars. So I know I'm getting that right off the top. Pow. Right, and then when I'm out there, I got my business cards, I got my flyers. I'm gonna go ahead and bang out this car real quick. If I cannot upsell this guy. At the very least, if I cannot upsell this guy, right, then I'm going to go to the next door neighbor, hand out a fly, tell this guy, I'm going to do the best I can on this dude car, and I'm going to shine this bad boy up to that joint mirror image, bro. I'm telling you. And I'm going to tell all his neighbors, look at this car I clean for this guy. Give me $100, every last one of you. I didn't say it quite like that, but you understand. I basically just went next door and went across the street before I finished with my man. Hey, I'm over here with Mr. Johnson and 
I'm with North Carolina Mobile Detailing. I just finished up Mr. Johnson call. We're doing a special this week. I just thought it'd be very neighborly if I just went ahead and just gave you a coupon if you guys want your cars clean. And I did that three, four, five times. And I get, so I book appointments. So to put put an appointment down, I need $25 down. So I'll make $25. I, yo, I make more money doing it that way than, than any other way. Right? And I set up my calendar like that. If you want to wash a bunch of cars. But push come, but here's another, here's, here's something else. This is where I was going with this. Is that. I would meditate the night before. I would make myself meditate and plan this whole day out. It doesn't just happen by by like mistake. This thing has to be purposeful. And when you conspire, then the universe says, all right, I'm with that. And it start conspiring for you. So when you get in, so in your meditation state, Right. And all right. So in, like, this is how you meditate. You just stop and just start thinking, <laughs> just stop everything. Right. Some people be like, some people be like, uh, you know, hold your hands this way. Not, you know, do this, you know, sit in a circle. You got to do none of that stuff. Whatever you feel yourself getting comfortable at. That's what you do. Me. I like to meditate when I'm getting a massage. Right. I just recently started this. I was like, oh, I like this. I'm going to start meditating while I'm getting a massage. This is dope. I'm going to get a massage every freaking day if I can. If I got time, I'm going to get a massage every day. Anyway. I would meditate and I know that this, this is there's only two outcomes that it's going to happen. Either I'm going to upsell this person or I'm not. And if I'm not, then the alternative is what I just told you. But if I do upsell this customer and I really don't feel like going around talking to everybody, I want to go ahead and just get this extra hundred dollars from this person. Then I work on the sales pitch of how I'm going to do it. Now, I've never seen the person call, but if I have some, the more I know about the customer, the more easier it is to conspire or plan your day. So if I know that Ms. Johnson or Ms. Sue has uh, kids and she drives a minivan, then more than likely, how many kids does she have? Do you, did you even ask the customer? Right? So I ask the customer, how many, how many kids do you have? Right? How old are they? Do you have any pets? Because I'm coming out there, I'm prepared for the battle. And once you're prepared for the battle, you know exactly what you're going up against. Right? So I've been out there and I've upsold, I've upsold a full detail that was a hundred dollars up to three hundred dollars. Right? Because I'm putting a, I'm putting um I'm putting, uh, I'm doing it like it's so much, so much you can, you can do that engine headlights. You can do so much more. You can upgrade in sales is what I'm saying. Right. But, but see what, what goes on with a lot of people is you become, and I've done the same thing. You become a detailer and not a businessman. I seen a, I seen a post on Facebook. I think it was Greg Masterson is, is, is his name. Greg Masterson. And he, we was sitting at the bar and he held up, it was held up a bar. I mean, he held up his cup and the meme was like, keep on detailing, detailers, keep on detailing, right? Because he ain't sharing shit with you, but you spend all the money with him, right? He ain't sharing shit with you. Just buy my chemicals. It's great. It's great. Dude don't even detail cars, bro. He probably detailing them cars for free. Just to get you to buy chemicals. And it's saying, yo, hate the player, hate the game. Right? I ain't, I ain't hating on my man. What he does is what he do. You know, but you got to be able to support your own at the same time, too. 
I don't know who that was for, because that was totally off. And what I do is I prepared the night before. So if I go to bed and I do that, I practice this today. When I go to bed, I plan to go to bed. I plan to be I plan to be asleep by nine o'clock. I go to bed. I plan to go to bed at eight. All right, because you wanna you wanna get your mind right for the day for the next day. If you go to bed with anger, or you go to bed with uh, anxiety, then that's that's what you're gonna end up meeting the next day. But if you go to bed with comfort, knowing that everything is already taken care of. That is the difference. I hope I said something to bless you. Oh, yeah. I wanted to bring this last thing out. I want to bring this last thing out. And meditation, right, and prayer, right? A warrior always pray, bro. And meditate, like those, when, when let's say, uh, uh, Raiden. When Raiden meditate, what do you think he's thinking about? He's thinking about fighting. That's what he does. He's the God of thunder. Right? So when you meditate, you meditate on detailing or whatever service or industry you're in, being the God of that industry. My son said, God, my son said, Dad, I'm the God of Fortnite. I said, get it, boy. <laughs> right so be the god of your realm be the god control your world and the god inside of you you can pull money from anywhere you just don't know how to pull the money out yet because you haven't mastered money you mastered detailing you have to master money and once you master money, you don't have to worry about detailing the cars. The cars to get detailed. Master the money. Hope I said something to bless you. Till next time, grind time, Prince. Beast mode marketing.